The quantum VPOC indicator has been developed to expand the two-dimensional study of volume and price to a three-dimensional one which embraces time. The volume-price-time relationship then provides real insight to the inner workings of the market and the heartbeat of sentiment and risk which drives the price action accordingly. Now as traders we're all familiar with the concept of volume and price and enshrined by the iconic tape reading traders of the past, such as Richard Wyckoff, Jesse Livermore and Charles Dow. All these traders recognised the power of volume when combined with price, providing that insight into market momentum and the validity or otherwise of market trends. Volume reveals the truth behind the price action, validating genuine moves and highlighting false ones. Perhaps most importantly, volume price analysis identifies those key phases of the buying and selling climax, which so often traps those who have little or no understanding of volume into weak positions. For the traders of the past, tape reading was all they had, reading volume and price as the ticker tape punched out the last price and associated volume, a powerful approach we still use today with the quantum tick volumes indicator. But now with the quantum VPOC, which stands for Volume Point of Control Indicator, we've added a further dimension of the analysis of volume and price, which both complements and expands the VPA relationship. Whilst the quantum tick volumes indicator considers the relationship between a single volume bar and its associated candle, or groups of candles and bars, the quantum VPOC indicator analyzes the density and intensity of volume over time against price. In other words, it takes us from the x-axis of price and time to the y-axis of volume and price and embracing the price-volume-time relationship. The VPOC indicator displays the transacted volume at the various price levels vertically on the right-hand side of the chart, showing instantly those regions where volume is most intense, as well as those where volume is weak. This then creates the valleys and troughs of the volume profile, with what we call high-volume nodes and low-volume nodes. Typically, these are regions where the market has paused and moved into a congestion transactional phase, either for longer periods of time, which develop the high volume nodes, or for shorter periods, which then build the low volume nodes. The VPOC indicator is constantly monitoring these regions and displaying the associated volume profile, and then paints a volume point of control to indicate current sentiment. The VPOC itself is always generated on the deepest volume of a high volume node. This level then moves dynamically as the volume of transactions build and can be thought of as the fulcrum of price agreement based on the associated volume. For example, where a market has been in congestion and then duly breaks away with the VPOC indicator below, this signals bullish sentiment is likely to increase. Equally, when a market has been in congestion and duly breaks away with the VPOC indicator above, this signals bearish sentiment is likely to rise. The VPOC indicator highlights the principal regions of price agreement on the chart, where volume as transaction has been building, with the strongest price moves then likely to come from those areas of the highest concentration of volume. In addition to displaying the volume density against price as a histogram on the chart and painting the VPOC level based on this analysis, the indicator also highlights the volume nodes outlined above, which then define potential support and resistance regions above and below the VPOC. The indicator divides the volume profile into four equal parts with two nodes in each, a high volume node and a low volume node, which then provides volume traders with deeper insight into the likely strength and weakness of each of these levels. 
At low volume nodes, support and resistance is likely to be weak, whilst at high volume nodes, support and resistance is likely to be strong. The volume nodes then help to contextualise these regions from a volume perspective and reinforcing a price-based approach to support and resistance, which is one of the cornerstones of technical trading. Typically, when price approaches or reaches a high volume node, then the market is likely to pause once again and move into a congestion phase as this is an area that has seen high volumes of buying and selling in the past. Price acceptance, if you like. What typically occurs is the price action then swings above and below this level and will either reverse off these levels with a consequent change in trend or move through which then confirms the current sentiment. Low volume nodes, on the other hand, are those regions where volume has been low in the past, in other words, where price has been rejected. As a result, as price approaches these regions, then we are likely to see a fast move through these areas as there is little in the way of meaningful support or resistance. Current sentiment is likely to remain in place with a quick move through and on to the next node. As with all the quantum trading indicators, the VPOC indicator is dynamic, constantly changing and updating to reflect the relentless shift in sentiment as the market moves from bullish to bearish and back again. The indicator works in all time frames and provides a powerful and much deeper understanding of support and resistance through the prism of volume as transaction and the associated high and low volume nodes, with the point of control itself acting as the fulcrum of the market. The quantum VPOC indicator works perfectly with other quantum trading indicators. Combining it with the price oriented quantum dynamic support and resistance indicator and the innovative quantum tick volumes indicator gives you a solid and powerful suite of technical analysis tools. So grab your copy today and take your understanding of the volume price relationship to a three dimensional level.